Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 26, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. It was a beautiful sunny morning with just a few clouds, although it was pretty cool. I think it was around 44 degrees when I got out and the winds were light and southerly. So a really nice morning to walk around and look for songbirds. I saw this cedar waxwing eating flowers and I just happened to catch this really cool photo where it was flipping the flower and using its tongue to reposition it. Overnight migration was pretty high with BirdCast saying that over 800,000 birds migrated over Oswego County. So I was hoping for a decent morning flight and there were a lot of blue jays flying over the North Lookout with more than 1,500 counted in a few hours in the morning. But other than that, there weren't too many birds flying overhead. But here's one warbler I was able to photograph in flight. We see that this bird has a grayish head, a bit of a line through the eye. We see that pointy warbler bill. And overall on top, it's kind of a yellowish green color and we don't see any wing bars or anything. So it's pretty plain. This is a Tennessee warbler. Here's another bird in flight that's gray overall with a black eye and a black cap. This is a gray cat bird. And from the bluff looking down towards the water, this spotted sandpiper was flying. From the north lookout, I had 73 species for the morning. As it got close to the time to start the hawk watch, a slight northerly lake breeze was kicking in, so we moved down to the south lookout. And initially there were some clouds, but those disappeared pretty quick, leaving us with blue skies for the remainder of the day. And the winds were moderate out of the north. If you thought the hawk watch season was over, not so fast. We had a really big flight today, driven mostly by juvenile broadwinged hawks like we see here. Mixed in with the juvenile broadwings, there's still a few adult broadwinged hawks mixed in, but not very many. We had a total of nearly 1,600 broadwinged hawks migrate by today. Here we have a juvenile. Here's a juvenile broad-winged hawk that seemed a little bit darker underneath. It doesn't seem completely dark like a dark morph would be, but it definitely stood out as being more heavily marked than we would normally see. Here we have a juvenile broad-winged hawk as shown by the underside markings and the pale trailing edge to the wings and the signs of molt. However, this bird has an adult-like tail to it. I noticed that especially when it was soaring. It has the classic dark tail with wide white band, and that's just something you'll sometimes see where the juvenile broadwings have a little bit of a tail variation that look more like the adult tails. And speaking of tails, here we have a red-tailed hawk that seems to be missing half of its tail. This is a juvenile red tail. Here's an osprey that was looking at us as we were looking at her. We had a decent bald eagle flight today. Here's one of 42 migrants, and you can see that it's molting its tail feathers. You can see the outer tail feathers are growing in. And here's a rock pigeon that gave a nice close look in good light, so I couldn't resist taking its photo. And rock pigeons are actually really beautiful when you see them up close, especially with this iridescence. You see some nice greens and purples. From the south lookout, we had 58 species today. In total for the day, we had 88 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 171 turkey vultures, 3 ospreys, 42 bald eagles. We had 2 northern harriers, 3 sharp-shinned hawks, and 2 cooper's hawks. We had 1,590 broad-winged hawks and 16 red-tailed hawks. And we had 1 merlin for a total of 1,830 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 11,773 and the season total to 90,031. So we broke 90,000 for the season. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for partly cloudy skies with a high around 67, winds light and variable. So I wrote, no reason today's big flight shouldn't continue. With a lot of sunshine and light winds tomorrow, there should be more broadwings on the move. And I know that Braddock Bay had a really good steady flight of broadwings today. And those birds that are in between us should continue to come our way. So we'll expect another decent day tomorrow after all those terrible days that we had. It's nice to finally be getting some more kettles of broadwings. And as far as which lookout we'll be at... We'll start at the north lookout for our morning birding, and then we'll see what the wind does, but I think we'll probably end up moving to the south lookout. With it warming up and those light and variable winds, I think a light lake breeze will kick in, but we had a really nice look at a lot of broadwings today overhead at the south lookout, so hopefully it's that same way tomorrow, and we'll even have some clouds to help us spot, hopefully. 
For Wednesday, they're calling for more clouds than sun with a high in the mid-60s and light south-southeast winds. So I would expect it to be light to moderate migration. It's a decent wind, but maybe a little bit gloomier, so the thermals won't be as good. But we'll keep an eye on Wednesday. It could turn out to be okay. And for Thursday, they're calling for cloudy with showers, a high around 60, and light southwesterly wind. So it's a decent wind, but it's fairly light, and it's looking like it could be gloomy with a chance of rain. So we'll keep an eye on Thursday, but looking less favorable. One more thing that I wanted to mention, I'm filming this just before 9 p.m., and this is the current radar loop looking at Pennsylvania and the Delaware region. And I'm told from people in Pennsylvania and Delaware that there was a massive shorebird liftoff this evening. And you can see them here on the radar taking off out of the Delaware Bay and the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, I know Kim is in her backyard in Delaware right now photographing shorebirds flying overhead. So there's going to be a lot of shorebirds on the move tonight. I don't know if that necessarily means that we'll see any of them. There's not really any rain or anything to put them down in this area. But hopefully that's something that I might be able to pick up on my nocturnal flight call microphone tonight. So just a, an interesting thing that may or may not affect our area. But uh, a lot of shorebirds on the move tonight. So if you're outside and it's quiet, you may hear some calling as they fly overhead. All right, what a great day of birding. It was a really pleasant morning to be out and doing some song birding. And then we had that really massive raptor flight with big kettles of broad-winged hawks. So there's still some magic left for this hawk watching season. And this is the time of year that we're definitely keeping an eye out for Mississippi kites. So who knows, maybe tomorrow could be the day. You won't know unless you come out. So I hope to see you soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.